Hey everybody, welcome to Shutter Magazine and to the great outdoors here in Ontario, Canada. Uh, I'm in Kekebeka Falls this week, um, just outside Thunder Bay, Ontario. And um, as a lot of you know, I'm based in a small town outside Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm just here actually this week uh, collaborating with uh, ELO Photography, some talented photographers here uh, for some shoots this week. Um, check out their work, ILO, ELO Photography. Um, and, you know, I wanted to talk particularly about uh, what we're doing with ELO uh, in conjunction with this idea of black and white photography and how to use it, um, because I think it raises some pretty interesting points. Uh, you could think of a black and white issue like this as, as kind of a ho-hum, humdrum topic, um, especially because Shutter Magazine is not just a photography magazine. It is that. It is focused on the art of photography, um, but uniquely... Is we're really focused on the business of photography um, and how you can actually have success, um, which is, is an art form in itself, that business world, that studio marketing world. Um, so black and white, how does that fit into that whole question of, of greater marketing and business success when it's, it seems like such a technical question? Um, black and white, you know, I like it because it's, it's sentimental. It reminds me of historic photography trends, um, or I think it's pretty. Uh, but how do you use that? Um, as a branding device. Um, and, and really that idea that black and white is just an artistic uh, expression, um, it's just a sentimental thing, is, couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, just like any technique that you use in your photography to brand yourself, and I know branding, you know, finding your brand, finding your style, is a very uh, difficult thing. I think that's one of the things that Eileen, my wife, and I struggled with more than anything at the beginning of our business, trying to find our voice um, and it's, it seems so ethereal and hard to get your, your hands on. Um, but like any technique, you know, the, the way that you uh, compose things, uh, the type of moments that you're looking for, whether you're photojournalistic or everything is posed, all these things feed into your brand and communicate something to your client uh, and really speak to what you believe in. So most of us ask the question, uh, when, how do we use black and white? Um, you know, we, should we just do a mix of black and white so we have a, a black and white and a color version of every image? Um, how do I decide when to use it? Um, do I just use it at a certain part of the wedding day if you're a wedding photographer? And I think that uh, if we get caught up in the questions of when to use it, how to use it, um, those are important questions to learn about how to balance your uh, white balance um, in, a, in, a white, in a black and white image. Uh, but more important is the why question. And this is where it brings you back to branding and marketing. So why uh, do you use black and white? This is a question that if you answer for yourself, then you can explain this to your client um, and, and add some value to your vision. So just as an example of that, uh, a couple friends of ours are the talented Justin and Mary Morantz of Justin and Mary Photography. And if you go to their website, you'll find their rebrand, which they, they did just a, a year or more ago, um, a lot of black and white imagery. This beautiful, um, very classic. Uh, it's, it's not just that they decided to shoot a lot in black and white, but they decided that their message, what was important to them that they could communicate to clients, uh, was the importance of photography uh, in your family as an heirloom. And they have this great story. They have a picture of, uh, of their... Uh, one of their grandparents, uh, their old wedding photo in a frame, just this classic, beautiful portrait um, that really means something to their family. Um, and, and they use that as an example of this is what we create for you. We don't just take snapshots for you to print out, you know, um, some four by sixes that'll get lost in a drawer. We're creating something timeless. Um, and they, they create that emotion and that sentiment by doing a lot of beautiful black and whites that kind of mimic uh, that particular image that's part of their story. So you can make the mistake of talking to your clients in these terms. You could say, oh yes, well, yeah, we offer black and whites. Um, or you can just actually desaturate the colors in the digital files we give you. And, all, and you've communicated nothing to the client other than we offer a product. Now, we're going to hand you some digital photos and you can edit them. You can desaturate them if you want black and white copies. Or you could take it to the next level, you know, a step up 
and say, oh yeah, we'll create a black, a special black and white version for you. Um, so you'll have a file full of color photos and we'll put all of those photos into black and white as well. And that's an option. We, we kind of do something similar to that for our associate brand where we're trying to move a larger number of weddings through. Um, but if you want to create a higher end brand, if that's your goal, then you need to create something that, that speaks your vision a little more clearly. So for our bloom couples, our brides and grooms that Eileen and I work with personally, um, when they come in to see their images from their wedding for the first time, uh, they, we literally have handpicked um, maybe 20 or 30 images. But when we're sitting down with a client after the wedding showing them their images, we're going to draw their attention to that. Uh, we're going to show them as we go through this image only in black and white. We're not going to show them a color version of that. Uh, we're going to say, you know, we, this is a black and white image. Um, give them the sense that we created this as a black and white image. It doesn't really have a color option. Um, and this is the way it was intended to be because, and we'll point out that this emotion um, or, or, you know, this, this composition works so beautifully in black and white. And when, when, you, get, when you show them that you have that amount of vision, um, that's, that's something that they can appreciate and, and hold dear. Um, and it just creates that higher sense of value in what you do. I think that that approach is, is the reason why, you know, we're able to travel and, and do work like this. Um, just simply because of presenting our brand in that way. So I hope that you'll find ways to do that through black and white photography um, and through all the techniques that you use. Have a great month, and we'll see you in next Shutter Magazine.